Hi, welcome to the course ROS for Beginners, Basics, Motion and OpenCV. ROS is the main development framework for robotics applications. However, it takes a long time for a new ROS user to grasp well the concepts and understand well the internal mechanics of ROS due to the steep learning curve. I'm glad to put this course at the hand of the ROS beginners users to learn ROS in a pragmatic and focused fashion step by step with a clear roadmap. This course is a result of several years of experience of working and developing programs with ROS. I am Anis Kuba, professor in computer science, and I have a long experience developing programs with ROS in both academia and industry. At academic level, I have taught ROS for university students, and this allowed me to understand well the problems that make the students struggle to learn ROS and develop solutions to overcome them. I have also developed training programs for learning ROS. In the context of research projects, I developed several softwares for ROS, including the ROSLink protocol that integrates robots with cloud and Internet of Things, the MyBot service robot for home and office usage, path planning plugins for robot operating system, and multi-robot systems for ROS-enabled robots, and much more. At industrial level, I have been leading the research and development department of Gatek Robotics, and we have developed aerial and ground robots platform all around ROS. I am also the founder and the maintainer of Gatek EDU portal, and I have edited many books on ROS with Springer. Based on my experience, a new ROS user has to learn ROS concepts and ecosystem, then learn how to make a robot move in the environment and also learn how a robot sees the environment. As such, the course is organized in three main parts. The first part deals with ROS concepts, including ROS computation graph, such as ROS nodes, topics, messages, services, action leap, and shows how to develop simple programs for ROS in both C++ and Python. The course also gives new users how to install ROS on their system, once these concepts are understood, the second part deals with basic robot motion. We built a simple application using the Turtle Sim Simulator that makes the robot moves in different trajectories and simulates a robot cleaning application. This part illustrates how to manage a ROS project in C++ and how to decompose a large problem into a subset of problems that leads to developing the global solution. In addition, it will make you understand robot kinematics and how to control robot motion with ROS. The third part of the course deals with robot perception and presents an overview on OpenCV, which is the most powerful library to develop computer vision and image processing algorithms. We demonstrate several programs of OpenCV on ROS and show how to bridge between ROS image format and OpenCV image format. The course also provides many hands-on activities so that the student can assess his understanding of the concepts presented in the lectures. At the end, this course provides a comprehensive overview of ROS and allows a new user to quickly find his path into developing his own project with ROS. Welcome to the course.